Welcome back to the Auto Insider, where you come to find out what's new, what's hot, and what's not in the automotive industry. This week, we have this 2023 Range Rover from Land Rover. This one is a plug-in hybrid electric. It has an AC cooling box in the front. It has massaging seats, power rear sunshade, power folding seats. It's great off-road, and you get up to 50 miles of range on a single electric charge. We use our level two charger in the garage we went from zero to 100 percent in less than four hours a couple of things about this range rover we may have changed we might not have ordered it this way but lucky for you you can order a range rover almost any way you like let's go inside and see what we like about it and let's see the one or two things that we change all in all though we'd have to say this one is nope you gotta watch the whole video but meet me inside let's take a look around After I get over the technology behind those power retractable door handles, we get inside and ready to be awed by all that is Range Rover. So to say that I was a bit underwhelmed by the interior after having all these high hopes for the Range Rover would be an understatement. What I found was this ultrasonic textile material in here. That's a zero dollar upcharge. This material is more vegan s I would say environmentally friendly one of the benefits of it though that we found was that unlike leather it's not overly hot when you get in on a warm summer day and if it is really hot outside you have ac cool seats and heated seats you also have here for your drinks an ice box to keep my waters cold cup holder for two gulp size cups wireless charger and a USB-C fast charger there. You also have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So the technology is here. Just, it's missing a little bit on the luxury. If I hadn't driven it for a week, I might ding Range Rover for that. But after enjoying this material for a week, I'm able to consider it for my own vehicle. The Range Rover that we have has executive package here in the second row. If you want this seat completely out of the way, you own it. You can move it. This is the way an owner of a six-figure vehicle wants to ride. Maybe you want a little privacy back here. Range Rover had you covered with the power rear sunshade. Maybe you're going to have a beverage back here. Even the cup holders are exposed by power ops. And my daughter keeps her trash. When you're all done with your cup holder, you can even fold the armrest out of your way for another seat. And of course, Range Rover has four climate controls. You push it for your heat and your ventilated seats. Push it again, control your temperature. You can control whether your air comes out on your feet or comes out top. You can turn these vents on and off and then you have a vent above head on both sides. There's also a 120 volt outlet here. Just above that 120 volt outlet, you also have two USB-C fast chargers. All of which come in handy. So whether you're preparing for a meeting or you're waiting for your teenager to finish volleyball tryouts, there's enough power to keep the bills paid, you gotta pay for a luxury SUV some kind of way. So this isn't your typical everyday family SUV. We saw from that second row, this is a vehicle for an executive. However, since you can get this in different seating options on the inside, let's talk about this cargo capacity anyway. One of the things I think families will love about a Range Rover is this claw tailgate. I call it the claw because of the way it closes. The benefit of it is, as you can see, all those things are still in place. No matter how hard you drive, nothing's gonna slide here to this rear tailgate and fall out when you open it. Every SUV should have this same type of tailgate. Also here in this cargo area, you have the ability to fold those two second row seats flat into the floor. This cover, really easy to operate. As you can see from the photos, that lifts up and allows you to sit here and tailgate. There are even cup holders here for you to tailgate, but it's a little bit high. How do you get the kiddos up here? No worries. With the air suspension, you can lower this so that you can get 
better access to it and sit here and tailgate. But now let's do the unthinkable. Let's take this $128,000 luxury SUV to our favorite rock pit and see how it performs off-road. That's what Range Rovers are known for, right? At least that's what our bill sheet says. This Range Rover is equipped with the Terrain Response 2 system. What that allows you to do is it allows different stability control modes that are control braking, engine, and transmission setting. It'll take on snow, wet roads, mud, even climbing over rocky terrain like here in our rock pit. The difference in this Terrain 2 system from the original Terrain system is that you don't have to dial in any settings. You don't have to turn any knobs. You don't have to think about the conditions of changing. The Terrain 2 system adapts on its own. We did have to raise the suspension a bit to get over some of this rocky terrain because we didn't want to damage the underside of a $128,000 SUV. But as you can see, this Range Rover is true to what it was built for. It can take on just about anything you can throw at it, on or off road. As capable as this Range Rover is, and as comfortable as it was doing it, we could do this all day. But now let's show you how this all wheel drive works in the rain. One of the things I talk about and I'm a big um, fan of is all wheel drive and four by four systems. And what I get on a personal response from people that I know is always why do I recommend all wheel drive vehicles, four by four vehicles, even here in the Southeast where we very rarely get uh, snow and inclement weather in the winter. So having a vehicle that is exceptionally responsive in inclement weather like snow and ice is not as much of a concern for most people living here in the Southeast. However, it's a days like today when we have these uh, huge rainstorms that drop um, high volumes of rain in a very short period of time. And if you drive long enough, you're sure to experience rainy days like this. But with the safety and security of the Terrain Response 2 system, it's comforting to know that the Range Rover will adjust to changing conditions, multiple terrains, driving surfaces, and weather conditions. So it's no need for you to panic behind the wheel of a Range Rover. It's as good in the rain and the rocks as it is on the way to the office. That's all the time we have today on the Auto Insider, but for more of what's new, what's hot, and what's not, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and then download the SoundCloud app and listen to all of our reviews in their entirety. The 2023 Range Rover from Land Rover. Is it hot or is it not? There are all kind of rumors going around about the Range Rover brand. One rumor we know for sure, they're hard to get and you're gonna wait a long time to put one in your driveway. Also, people who buy Range Rover stick with the Range Rover for many years. It's hard to get them to say anything negative about their experience. This one, this cooler box, executive package in the second row, and this cocoon-like ride and drive experience in this vehicle make it really high on my list for luxury SUV. So if you're looking for a full-size luxury SUV that makes you forget about all your troubles in the world while you're driving, this Range Rover should make your list. Everything else, do your research. Find out for yourself what you think about it. But the Auto Insider is saving up my coins for a six-figure Range Rover. Till next week, I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Insider.